ができたよ美味しくできたよ俺はカレーが食だよカレーができたよ山盛りできたよこれで三河カレーざんまい飯つけてるかけてうまいようまいようまいようまいよ福神漬けもそうえなきゃね辛いよ辛いよ辛いよ辛いよ辛いわくのカレーをガンジスの大地から世界中の人々のためにやってきたハウスのくくれにバーモントにコトマルリージャーボンカレーポークにビーフにキーマリマサラグリーンカレーも守備範囲ラんならランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランランラカレーを食べたよ美味しく食べたよおかわりしすぎちゃったカレーを食べたよ3日分食べたよそこにカレーがある限りこれ以上食べれない満腹満腹満腹満腹明日の分も作らなきゃ食べるぞ食べるぞ食べるぞ食べるぞ魔性のカレーをアジアのインダスの恵みからスパイスの宝石をまといやってきた。ここ一号号シーアンシー吉野松屋にインディーラーデューデュアデューアダバディーディアピーババ。Hello, good evening. Dost thou even hoist? This is indeed medieval times. I'd like to start by pointing out that whilst we were off stream, we reached the goal 608. Battletoads is on the clock. It's g o i n g to happen now. I have a very special guest in mind, and once I can get the yay or nay from them, I will give us a date and time. Oi. And welcome, i s a a c Oi. So, it's time for Defenders of the Crown, and apparently we're starting in Sherwood Forest, huh? I have to visit Rod of Loxley, but your old friend was, has disastrous news. This, this font. <laughs> During your journey, an assassin took the king's life, plunging the kingdom into turmoil. The king left no heir, Robin says.、Uh, uh, okay. Basically saying、that. the whole country will tear itself apart at the rate they're going. We are fucked. Correction. It will be fucked unless. Hero rises to the occasion. Oh,、no, not Robin Hood, mind you. Normans are assembling armies and Saxons will fight them. They accuse each other of killing the king and stealing the crown. The struggle ahead is a task for younger men, Robin says. Men like you. He pledges his aid three times if you will seek to reunite the Dark Kingdom.、Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Wilfred. Let's see. Average jousting is good. Sword play is good. No soldiers, knights, or... no catapults. Well, that's a shame. Yet. Yes, this is the operative word yet. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, well, it's one、see. of these strategy type games. Well, I don't even know where to begin.、Uh, if you would like some advice, I can give you some. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, first off, go to Conquest,、uh, transfer, have at least one soldier join your army. It's a requirement of if you want to move anywhere, you have to at least put men in your army. So, basic requirement is at least one. Okay. From there, move army, and I think. Either land, whether it be directly below you or directly to the right of you, is the same amount. So 
choose whichever. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I would suggest not clicking the force in between the castle and the land. That is how you talk to Robin. Uh, makes sense. Or, let me rephrase that. Don't talk to Robin yet. Yes, Robin will have his time. And okay. then, I believe, you should have technically more men of your army if you were to go to conquest and transfer again. That uh, thing is moving. Yep, you gained six men. Hooray! More dudes. So, next thing I would suggest is um, take over the other land uh, directly to the right of you. That way, um, should anyone try and take your lands, you at least have a bit of a leeway before anyone thinks about taking it. Okay, so something like, yeah? Uh, that's one of your allies. I meant above there. Here. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. What's going on down there? <laughs> Yay, money. Hey, uh, just, just, just some peasants um, trying to fight against each other. I, I wouldn't worry about it. Brave Sir Robin, brave Sir Robin. Speaking of brave Sir Robin, uh, how do you feel about jousting? I feel great. Then I suggest you proclaim your tournament. A tournament, huzzah! I've seen this movie. It starred Heath Ledger, right? I believe so. Yeah. The games of chivalry. The day of the tournament finds the lords of Ashby. If you wish to joust for fame or land. For now, I would suggest uh, land. Land. Select like territory. I'd say the one uh, red, brownish. Whatever land that's the most of you. Alright, so this one here? Yeah. And, and the land you see that's flashing is the one they are gambling on. Huge tracks of land! Only, only the biggest. Yes. Now then. As we are asking on the stream at all times today, dost thou even hoist? Lesson we shall find out ourselves. An expected Goes without question. saying, uh, aim for the seal. Do not, under any circumstances, aim for the horse. All right. I don't know which button to push. Uh, you use a directional pad to move it. It might be. I connect. That's okay. I believe A uh, lets you swing your flail, and holding B, yeah, lets you raise your shield. And also, if you press down while attacking with the flail, you can aim below as well. But yeah, it goes without saying, um, you kind of have to let your flail swing about before you actually deliver a blow, otherwise it will do little to nothing. Did I? No, I was not the champion. Let's run that back. Lucy! <laughs> Space time rewind! Space time rewind! Lucy, did you see it? We got there. Goal achieved! By the way, can we just take this opportunity to realize just how creepy a shit this is? <laughs> it's fun <in> reverse. <laughs> Is this really Defender of the Crown or Rise of the Robots? Why can't it be both? The true answer? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I was definitely looking at the wrong... thing here. Oh, sweet. You can even stop start before here. Sweet. Okay. Eisen! Eisen! Why are you making him play that? Eisen! Eisen! 
And somehow, I think he actually did that worse than this <laughs> I did do it worse. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even seeing any, uh, like, movement or any anything that gives me a clue, considering that I'm not the one yeah, that's I'd on the camera. Yeah, I'd say as soon as you do that, try and hold left immediately. Left, huh? So, yeah, uh, back a little bit. Like, even before you see this picture, start holding left. Because you can easily adjust it afterwards. Uh, should I have not taken off the... Uh, should I hold it the whole way? Um, I'd say if you feel like it's going a bit too far, um, readjust it to the right. Hmm. This poor guy is just going to just suffer immensely. Repeatedly knocked down until we figure this this shit out. Hey, Freya. Hi. Couldn't have done it without your help, Lucy. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Disgrace! <laughs> okay, so I am... Alright, so this, this thing is... Silly. Oops, that's the E key, not the R key. Big difference. Because, yeah, I'll just say, um, if you want to let that happen, not only are you permaban from tournaments, but your morale tanks like a bitch. I see. You see, what happened in this <clears throat> alternative universe was that, um... While jousting, uh, a horse was killed. That's the thing that happens. Hey, hey, ah, I did go. it right. All right. So, yeah, every time you hit, let it swing for a bit and then hit again. Because as silly as it is, this is how you deal damage to them. Got him! Hey! Huzzah! One victory. Johnny, Jeff, good to see y'all. Well, up to you if you want to gamble for another land, or try and raise your morale. And by morale, I mean leadership. Let's beat ass. I mean, what? Let's see. <laughs> I don't see Wolfric, which is good, because he's a master at Dowsing. You're not going against them. That's good. Ah, Roger, the shrubber. So, Cedric. I could have made a Harry Potter joke, but I didn't remember the last name of the character. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Uh, Cedric used to be a professional fool, but the entertainment business wasn't working. So, he became a knight. Or at least huh. that's how I'm seeing this. <laughs> I think we should kick his ass, then. Yes, rightfully so. Ho ho ho. Cedric Diggory. 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 Got him. Boom. And I think this guy doesn't have good jousting, because... The other one had, like, a little bit Ooh. more health. This one barely had any, so nicely done. Yeah, I just pummeled his ass. Two shots. Land. Ho. So, I think you took that land, and it won't let you joust again. But, the next best land, I would suggest uh, the one with the strike. The one as a 
the same. Oh, it's last year. What is this? This is Wales, isn't it? I think it's Wales. Oh, I think not. Well, but considering it was close to touching the shield, that was close. I would have thought it'd be way off. No, mistakes were made. What's that? I, I, I know I'm slightly going off topic, but uh, reading what Freya just said, I find it hilarious that I mentioned this to my mother. She said, is that based on fact or is that opinion? And it's like, oh, oh, you, you poor wretched soul. You know nothing about what yeah. Gay Rowland's been all about. That is who she is, and it's what she's about. Ooh, that's like the perfect shot. Got him. Did something happen, Jeff? No, nothing happened. No, no, no. Something did happen. You're kicking these knights' asses. Yep, nothing unusual occurring, just a thing I was... And yeah, don't be afraid uh, every once in a while to pressing, uh, press and holding down to attack downward. Oops. Oopsie poopsie! Oopsie! Boy, I lost a lot of health in that shot, too. Damn. Just on that, that one hit in particular. Hmm. Okay, I already forgot who this knight's name is, but he's being a bitch right now. He really is. He was doing very well, and then all of a sudden he just came back and clobbered my ass. Rip and tear until it is done. Damn. <laughs> That's probably what Freya said. Uh, forgive me, thou knight. Uh, did you drop this? Hast thou dropped something? Got him. Yeah! Ha 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 ha. My skill is unmatched. Complete with my rewinds. Unmatched. Yes, epic flail. I stand before yeah. you with an exceedingly long polearm. Everyone else might have had an epic fail. That was an epic flail for you. I lost my and territory, and I lost my other territory. Honestly, this is probably the best thing, because... Um, as far as I'm aware, you're pushing the enemies back, so they concentrate on that. They won't bother concentrating on your land for the time being. Yeah. So, now that you have uh, more coin in your purse... They do. Uh, yes, you do. I believe... Um, not that I want you to rewind, but I think you had... If you go in the buy army, it should say you have 31 gold pieces. That you do. Yes. 
Uh, back up before you buy anything. Uh, read map. And then... Mm -hmm. Check how much that land is worth, the one you're currently on. Income of two. Okay, and then the one just below your main gate. This one? Which is uh, up and to the left. This one. That one. Think about four. Okay. I'm glad we checked this because the next important thing I want you to do uh, when you buy army is to build a castle on that land. Okay. Which, of course, means uh, go into the selected territory box and click in there to leave that oh. read map menu. <laughs> as much as I like this game because I've played it to death, even I can't deny it is a bit picky at times. And right. saying a bit picky is being generous. Well, that's why it's a what the F game. Well, there you go. So we buy a castle and we place it here. Mm-hmm. And then, Done. yeah, we'll just leave it there. Was well, just a few more soldiers, but eh, we'll take what we can. The battles rage. There's the money. All right. <laughs> Why did I hit the stick? <laughs> uh, Jeff, the goal was reached. Period. <laughs> the goal for Yoshi Island was reached. Unless you meant, what exactly are you doing with Yoshi? Yeah, you, you already did uh, on that one. Yes, I'm, I'm beating the game. But not 100%ing uh, it, I hope. No, 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 no. Yeah, I because it's one of those games, game. fun to play, absolute bitch to 100%. Much like Cuphead. <laughs> I will take your word for that. Let me put it to you this way. I beat the main game and DLC on all three difficulties. It's not worth it. Gross. It's not worth it. So let's see, what shall we do now? Should we uh, another tournament? Or should we you go do raid? have a free land if you want to push the enemy back. You could host a tournament. A tournament. Ha ha. I've been all night to attend the games of chivalry. Do not pay any attention to the man at the Royal Folio Depository. So yeah, land. And since we know, um guy from the castle on the far right is encroaching in your territory. If you claim the spot just to um, the southeast of where you currently are, you can push this army back. Yeah, so this one, the one that he took from me. Yeah. Bum -bum -bum. I know that's supposed to be a rampant lion, but man, it just looks like a creature with a tail just humping a wall. That or uh, trying to perform a crowd thing uh, story you can. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, then again, with, with these type of graphics on the NES, the possibilities are endless. I think I missed. I did. King down, down. Damn. A little bit too high, but otherwise, that's pretty much where you would aim at. Crud. Nope, that was off all over the place. Lost complete control, that one.
No, and we don't yes, even need that to... is true, Jeff. This was originally an Amiga game, which at the time got ported to nearly every console under the sun. Dear God. Bonk. In fact, I believe even the Amiga version had a direct sequel to this game. Which is pretty much... I, I, I say a sequel, but I'm putting that in quotes, since from what I've seen, it's pretty much the same game, only uh, instead of reuniting the land as your main goal, you're mainly uh, trying to raise funds to um, free Nailed the it. king from being captured. Ah. Hooray! Shall we go for some more land? You? So oh. you already challenged him, so can't take that land. But that's best one, yeah, would be um that flag, which I can't really see it as anything other than um the old Japan's rising sun flag. Run. Nope, I think I got a horse head. No, I didn't. Oh. First try. I'm going to assume um, the other night panicked and decided, no, I must protect my horse. Bam. Nailed it. <laughs> We yes. saved Pen Anning from my yes, own errant team. stick. Great success. I will say, um, there are four uh, ways to determine your strength. Uh, weak, normal, good, and as far as leadership goes, I would shoot for strong. So, I would suggest fame being the next one. Jeff. We're gonna take on Jeff with a G. Oh, so you're gonna make Toys R Us extinct. Gotcha. Toys R Us is already extinct, senor. But even Not more so. I know, it's a sad thing. It really is. My youth. Honestly, uh, they're used to be... <laughs> God damn it, bats! No, no! <laughs> I don't care. Damn it! If it's in this type damn of game, it. not could we not? <laughs> Strangely, Kirby just stopped talking for a hot second there. Jeez. Dun dun dun! dun. Oh god, we did the Three Stooges on What the F a few weeks back. I don't remember how long ago. Victory! Oh, victory! Oh, defeat! Ka-ching! They're still good. Quite good. Well, let's see. Feel tempted to check something. Uh, do me a favor and read map real quick. Uh, check the lands of the Rising Sun castles, because obviously. <laughs> Not about that. Uh, eight. Uh, the one below. Three, so three. eleven. Ah, Reginald, Front de Bouf. And Sussex, also Seven, Reginald. eighteen. No land's worth. And then, uh, same thing, but the stripes. Seven. Four. Four for eleven. Eight. Eight. Nineteen. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I know you're not a pirate or Viking. Uh, how do you feel about raid? Raiding and pillaging. I like it. Guess that answered your question. Um, castle on the lower left. 
Raid! So what's gonna happen is you're gonna duel some uh, swordsmen. You kill them all, um, you can raid their treasury and steal half their gold. Fail, uh, they hold you capture and hold your ransom for half of your gold. No. Well, you know we're gonna win this. And, uh, technically, there is a third option, which is to back all the way over to the left and, uh, leave, like, uh, Brave Sir Robin would run away. How uh, many of these dudes do I have to kill, by the way? that does affect, uh, your morale, so leadership will go down if that's the case. How many of these guys do I have to kill? Ah. So, yeah. Final man. Defeat. Yeah. In an alternate timeline, you'd be captured. In an entirely alternate timeline. You fool! I don't know if I actually have enough space to do this. To one hit survive this. Hmm, probably not. Actually. Uh, what? Oh, uh, I see where you're going. <laughs> Load state. Screw that noise. I think uh, one tip I would say is very useful is if you successfully can, uh, step back for a bit and then immediately attack them again. And you're almost always guaranteed to stab them while avoiding getting stabbed yourself. Now, let's see if that's good enough. Definitely have a bigger chunk of health this time around. strategy is working. Petty, petty, thrust, thrust, good! Good! Once again, pay no attention to the man in the Royal Folio Depository. Ah, oh, you heard that coming a mile away. Well done, Blinken. Pardon? Who's talking? Victory. And the stale beer of defeat. Oh, what's nonsense? Okay. Ooh, well, look at that gold you've amassed. Yeah, so now I have to beat ass because I lost both of those territories again. What about conquest? What's the. Uh, what do do with that? Also, we should probably buy some knights and catapults, eh? At some point. I'm actually gonna check something real quick. Give me one quick second. Okay. Alright, uh... Can I be able to hear you now? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh. Uh oh. I just well, I think Discord's having a fit Discord. Right now because I can hear your gameplay, but I can't hear you. 
Oh that's my lord! That's a bit of a problem. Let me check things. Wow. Yeah, Discord just crapped entirely. All right, hold on. Canst thou hear me now? Ah, thou is indeed better. Hooray! We are having weird technical issues tonight. Oh boy. Okay, so I was going to buy a knight and a catapult. Because why not? Would you, would you could. Also, before you leave, yes. might I suggest another castle? You may. And, yeah, right next to your main castle, which is the land you're on. Never hurts to have extra protection. True. Oh, what's this nonsense? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Things are happening. Mm, that's kind of sad. Oh boy. Uh, I... what, what's going on? What's going on? I'm getting fucked, apparently. Danes! Oh no! What? Losing that's... territory? Fuck off. So, number one, apparently you lost a territory, which, oddly, you could get back again. Number two, because your allies are gone, um, apparently you can't rescue a fair maiden to take their land in exchange. Well, fiddle-faddle. That's no good. Mm. Damn Danes. But anyway, uh, might I suggest conquesting heading back to your main castle? If you're not prepared, yes, it can go south very quickly. And might I suggest transferring, um, oops, to your side. So I feel like, um, as quote-unquote fun as this game is, you probably want to move on to other games, so uh, bring your <laughs> knight and catapult as well. Empty the barracks! And, uh... Yeah, uh... Go right from there. I remember when I said uh, not to touch uh, the forest? Now will be uh -huh. a good time to do so. The Robin of the Wood. Sherwood Forest. And why should the people listen to you? Because, unlike some other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. <gasps> Now then. But yes, uh, now, uh, yes, I would take that castle. Murder. Because it is impossible for you to take a land with a castle unless you have Thanks a castle. Thanks for the bits, Hey. The long, arduous siege. Ooh. So... Yeah, you got quite a number to go up against. Uh, first off, I would suggest using boulders. And this is a tricky bit. Uh, depending on how long you hold determines the height you get. Your main goal for now is to deteriorate the wall, so it makes it easier to throw your stuff at the enemy. Uh -huh. Too high? Woo! Watch it go off. <laughs> was that too high, or was that good? I'll say that was high. All right. Now, as for... There, that there's a low. low. Oh, too that low? That was too low. All right. Believe me, when you've done damage to the wall, you'll notice it. Ah. Little higher, and you would have had it. Just 
goes to... There we go. Nailed it. Yeah, it's very easy to tell when you've hit their wall successfully. Too high. Just, just a little bit. Excellent. And then one more boulder. Not quite like that. Excellent. And then from here, I suggest go nuts however you want to with the disease and I hesitated for a bit because it said Greek fire. I believe it should be uh, I want to say Greece fire. Is that what I was supposed to do? Yeah, because the main oh. goal is the lower it is, um, the more uh, enemies uh, you hit. Oh, well, the three ain't going to do it. No, I didn't hit anybody that time. Or maybe I did, I don't know. I think that's probably the best you can get. Seems that way. Uh, yeah, it's only three dudes, but it... Yep, that's all I got there. Yeah. And ordinarily, you would face the remainder, but since you asked for Robin's help, he will do what he can to thin out their numbers a bit. Neat. Merry, even. You engage the army. And then different ways of how you attack. I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah, if it ends real quickly. If you have a whole bunch of men, um, you can outflank them. Uh, a whole bunch of soldiers, fierce attack. Um, hold your stand. If you want to attack more with your catapults, uh, bombard. And, of course, leaving. But, yeah. At this point, uh, I think it's safe to say there's probably no way how you can make a redemption. Nope. All right. Well, let's move on then. Or rather, you could, but it wouldn't be worth it at this point. <laughs> right. All right. Let's find our next target. Actually, should we just rip off the band aid right now and play the other version? Oh. Oh, I, th I was thinking about ripping off the band aid in a different way. Okay. Your stream? Uh, oh, God. Oh. Yep, that's definitely ripping it a different way. Yes. Yes. Uh. <sighs> so you know how much time I have on Ghosts and Goblins or Super Ghouls and Ghosts? About a grand total of about ten minutes. Oh, joy. Yeah. Bones. Ordinarily, I would make a counter-argument, Jeff. Uh, to be fair, this is what the F, so why not this version? Yeah. And as a counter-argument, Battletoads. But that is for later. But yeah, I'll just say, all you need to know is, um... While you do need a different other weapon in order to get the game's true ending, uh, despite replayability, because, after all, it wouldn't be a Ghouls and Ghosts game, or Ghost Goblins, what have you, without mandatory replay, uh, yeah. all you need is a uh, knife, knife, and more knife. Why <laughs> did I jump backwards? No, you fool. suggested uh, just jumping straight up and that works too yeah there's a ladder there what are these little suits of armor I keep picking up um those green figurines I believe those are just bonus points ah well, that makes sense then 
Also, I agree, Jeff. While others... Ooh, this no, you fool. Arthur, you fool. Yeah, so... I'm pretty sure the frame rate... Yeah, the frame rate, uh, protections are kind of nowhere near hitting that one on So, how the hell did you make it in there? Not that it matters, because he got his much on this. Frickin' nailed it. Oh yes, I agree. While some of the later games might have improved its usefulness, also, I love much like um, the Turtles in the original TMNT game, they can't uh, Arthur can't do for shit. Yeah, lest we forget. Oh, whoops. Alright, fine. Uh, but yes, um, as I was saying, because I'm getting distracted. They might have improved the weapon as the game series went on. Um, in here, um, the port fucking sucks. Uh-huh. Because you're only able to throw one of them, and if it hits the ground, you have to wait until the fire disperses before you throw another one. Gross. Never made it past stage two, I believe you. And I'll be honest with you, um, if I was playing this game legitimately as a kid, uh, Stage 2 was always my roadblock, so it's understandable if you never made it past Stage 2. I feel like, um, because I watched Slowby play this a couple of years ago, I believe. He, I think Stage 2 was his wall, too, because if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Because I could get to, like, the halfway point, and that was usually where the roadblock would happen. Yes, please. I don't want to be naked. At least you don't take fall damage, for God's sake. Considering uh, everything else you hit removes your armor, uh, small little blessings. Yeah, we take those. Oh yeah, there's a there's another band-aid to rip off. That's something I thought of to uh Capcom's traditional uh death. Uh Yasishi, I should say. <laughs> also, what is this? Uh the thing you got, that's the Yasishi. If you look at several different Capcom games, you will usually find it there. And, it, and apparently, as this game has taught us, your corpse is intangible and phased right through that platform. As it does. And drowned of its own volition. And again, considering how I've seen some death scenes in the Sega Genesis version of Ghouls and Ghosts, yeah, I believe that. Uh-huh. No, you fool! What even was that bullshit? Oh, fuck. Well. We will never see level 5, partially because I'm not crazy. Oh, I don't even think I made a new level 5. I think 4 is my current roadblock. <laughs> uh oh, game over. Good thing this thing has infinite continues. That is true. I have to actually use the select button. Figure that part out. So clearly, this means we should get Parsec ready and do uh, alternate uh, two player mode. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, so I guess uh, I may as well point out that since, of course, we were successful in getting to 608, yeah, 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 uh, we're already, uh, already moving on towards the next, um, the next follower goal. Nice. 666, six, six, baby. Wherein we make everything metal. And we play Sunlust because we are crazy. So 
good news, uh, you reached the checkpoint. Hooray! And yet, I think this is at the one-third marker. Ooh. Which, when you think about it, is kind of sad. Also extremely on-brand for this game and this series. True. Boy, you know, cons when you consider the fact that Battletoads is a thing that I'm going to be playing, um, this seems to have that same level of fuck. I feel feeling Battletoads is technically supposed to be harder than this game, and yet I feel like you can handle Battletoads blindfolded compared to this shit. There's a certain degree of memorization in this that Battletoads also has. Again, true. You fool! Boy, the, <laughs> the knockback is severe. Indeed. Yikes. It's always birds. No, wait! I was trying to get up oh, there. Why did he stop? I should mention I absolutely love the fact that they move somewhat okay on their own, yet uh, apparently they put their turbo shoes on the minute you're on the same level as them. Yeah, notice this. Like insanity. Yeah, Battletoads does control better than this. Oh, okay, you can't attack while on a ladder, noted. Okay, that was a mistake. say, considering the masterful English this game has, uh, yeah, I, I would believe this would be a beta. Yeah. I mean, why not, after all? all right, I know I'm gonna what did it say, I believe? Congratulations, you feel strong swelling up in your body. Strong. I actually don't need to fight that guy. Yeah, I think if memory serves, you have to be at least, um, that level in order to avoid, um, any walls in order to get to the other side. I see. Right. Again, other it has been a while since I played this game. So, don't quote me on that. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. Uh, so far it looks like that's true. Ooh. Uh, hashtag nailed it. My dude. Oh, I beg that you. camping bit. That My camping dude. motherfucker. My dude. Seriously. Get the fuck out of there, you piece of shit. Nope. I knew- I, I, I could tell immediately. Like, nope, I'm fucked. And of course, the sad thing is, uh, yeah, as Jeff pointed out, there's another enemy we have to worry about. Um, his name is Tim. I mean, um, time. It's not the old English. Trying something there. Oh. No, you bastard. Okay, I don't think that that's possible. Hmm. 
Alright, yeah, let's uh, try to get some time back on the clock here. See if we can't do anything with that nonsense. So that's the torch. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Okay, so no picking that up. How am I supposed to actually get down here? RNG manipulation. Logic, you don't. But apparently, you found a way to go through that. That was just mistakes made. Jesus. Okay. Good. We're good. We're good. Now you're probably, what, five sticks of the way done with the level? And then I fall off for no reason. Fuck! Okay. Oh no! I did run out of time! Son of a bitch! Oh god, this game is awful. What the F? So, I feel like I need to make a sturdy question. I know this is Capcom's doing. Uh -huh. Having said that, when did it suddenly turn into fucking Adventure Island? Where apparently... Um, you have to, uh, sustain food in order to keep going. Also, uh, that's just... No, that, that wasn't a glitch of what just happened there. That's just so sheer willpower. That's right. That was my will and my will alone that allowed me to survive that. Frick! Well, since that was a crow, uh, we could say, uh, that bird was a fucking pecker. Eh, <laughs> got him. Didn't get him. Argle, bargle, an argle. Well, I got kicked upstairs. As you do. As you do. There we go. No, no, screw you, you piece of shit! I definitely don't want to get kicked in the downstairs. Uh, let these spawn. And yeah, true, um, ghouls and ghosts fashion, um, weapons do not disappear. Or at least they don't despawn, so. <laughs> in base game, you either have to swallow your pride and take it, or the true answer, fucking die. Joke's on you, I'm already dead inside. Then again, aren't we all? Yeah, yes. I 
the torch could at least not suck. That'd be great. Also, I need to update that Nightbot message. Uh, why did you crouch, you fool? Let alone fire in the opposite direction. Uh-huh. Boy. Imagine trying to play this game. At all. It's almost like the game is awful. Nope, here it comes. Alright, we're live. Made it out of that nonsense. Got less than a minute. By the way, can we agree to disagree that if you somehow manage to uh, beat the stage with a torch, that's only the best way to <laughs> end this game? <laughs> <laughs> I think the flashing you see she would at least give you your armor back, but no, it's its own separate item. Doesn't seem to do damn thing. Uh made it. Oh, yeah, I don't know why either. Uh is there two of them? Yes. Great. Why well, deal with one unicorn when you can deal with two of them? Uh, by the way, that giant is called Unicorn. Why? I don't know, but it is. Because fuck us uh, both. Pretty harsh. How was Defender of the Crown? Well, it certainly was. say Defender of the Crown for that NES wasn't a terrible game because we're playing right now. Yeah, legitimately terrible game here. Which is Boy. why I will defend the uh, Sega Genesis um, Ghouls and Ghosts any day of the week because... I am able to beat that game on professional difficulty. Ooh. Um, correction, for the NES, this is called Ghosts and Goblins. In fact, I've been corrected multiple times that even though there are various games called Ghouls and Ghosts, the series itself is called um, Ghosts and Goblins. Why, I don't know, but it is. I was about to say, where'd he fucking go? Also, when he came on screen, did he just do a little jig? He might have. Oh, this game, I am not surprised anymore. Got him. It's level three, and it only took a ton of rewinds to do. Oh, fuck this. Immediately. What is this? A hot start in Doom? My armor immediately gone. All right, it's well, we you have to go back to the spear, but it's still a hell of a lot better than a torch. Yeah. more interested in getting, uh, fucking armor. Or even well, so, armor. you're not gonna commit to it, but, uh, do me a favor and jump on the ceiling. If, if you can actually touch. <laughs> I can't seem to. I think even if you just backtrack to the lower part, that would be just as good. 
Oh, did they fix that there? Okay, maybe the NES version is that forgiving. Because, um, in the Genesis version, if he were to jump into a spike ceiling, that's death. Of course. So I am legitimately shocked that there's a bit of mercy for the NES version. Now, the game doesn't know mercy because Sprite Flicker prevented me from seeing that one dude. Please give me armor, I beg you. Uh, I can give you armor that's red. It's not the same thing. Well, that's no good. Remember if this is a stage where you could encounter by going far enough, um, having an armor spawn down? Really? Nailed it. I know, I know. This now, is one I'm... of those things where I could say I known it as Ghouls and Ghosts, it was called Ghouls and Ghosts, but someone on another Discord server kept bitching and moaning at me. It's like, no, it was called Ghosts and Goblins, therefore, despite the other titles being Ghouls and Ghosts, it's Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah. yeah. And, and at this point, it's like, you know, it, it's not worth the bitching and moaning. Just, they want to yes. call it that, let them call it that. Yeah, it's not worth the fight. Now, I am I given to understand correctly here that the um, that Gargoyle's quest is effectively a sequel to this in some way. Uh, I believe it's a sequel series. To be precise, because I believe uh, the order is the Game Boy uh, Gargoyle quest, uh, or prequel according to Jeff. But yeah, the Game Boy game is the first one. The NES is uh, Gargoyle Quest 2, and obviously uh, Demon Quest is the third in the series. And there's the Super NES version as well. Yes. I believe that's the one I was referring to. The Demon's Quest. I don't know why I said Quest. I mean, Quest would make as much sense as anything at this point. Well, it'd be nice to be able to hit this guy. Oh, no, actually, it's about the red armor having uh, skin infliction, so it's actually called Demon Cross. <laughs> I just can't hit the broad side of a damn barn with this thing. Aha! Hey! Only took how many tries? Yes. Yes. Boy, look at all the points I'm getting. Why did I even bother to go for that? Piss. Apparently that red armor was into surprise blood sex. Because it just appeared out of nowhere. And Barely danced its way there. Frick. And don't quote me on that, um, all the other figurines you've been getting up to now were points. I believe that's a cursed, uh, yeah, cursed figurine. Oh boy. What is it with you and curses? Everything is cursed. This is cursed. This is cursed. Alright. Let's go right. Why did I even think to do that? Aha! That's what I thought, Jeff. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Hitboxes are a suggestion. I have to question... What... Uh... I mean, I wouldn't really 
discuss in the series in general, but uh, more specifically in the NES version, the hit detection with the red armor is questionable. Because sometimes they could be right up in your face and not count as a hit, and then sometimes it could barely glide over you, but it still counts as a hit. Of course. You know, only the best from Crapcom. The folks that brought you the Mega Man series, mind you. Which I've decided, even though I uploaded the entire stream, fuck. I have decided to go ahead and just uh, separate out and upload the entire, or the the winning run for Mega Man 3 Deathless uh, by itself. Which, by the way, congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. I'm frequently sure the game basically knows the kind of bullshit I'm trying to pull right now, like and a bad is punishing me for it. Even worse. You have to deal with two red armors. Oh, that's not insulting enough? We'll drop a torch for you, because Lord knows that's far better than the javelin you're using. Uh-huh. Oh, did I see a third one? I think it did. Uh, I'm gonna assume that was just, um... Right limitation from the left uh, facing to the right. Well, let's hope so. so. I think it's still just two. Great! I got to the end! Too bad I've got two of these things on my ass! Like I said, you're ripping the band-aid off now, motherfucker! Yeah, be on the lookout, though. There'll be some uh, Mega Man 4 Deathless attempts coming up sometime soon. Ooh. Now that I would most certainly be interested in watching. Well, it'll happen. I haven't uh, figured out when exactly. Because, uh, well, Lord knows I have a lot of booked days right now. Yeah, but speaking I of Deathless in... Run, uh, you're going to be doing a no rewind, no safe state Deathless Run of this game sometime in 2000, never. Pretty much. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Success! Fresh hell is this? From what I can recall, uh, you can destroy uh, several parts of the body, and it would only take one hit to do so, but I believe the dragon moves faster, if that's the case. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the head is the main target. Oh, that was going well, too. the timing somehow. Get down here and take your medicine. No, it's alright, Dragon. Take your time. I mean, it's not like we're on a freaking timer or anything. That would be silly. Yeah, that, that'd be crazy. In addition to everything else, we have a timer. Balzac. Nope, that's not going to work at all. Neither is that, as it turns out.
That did somehow. Yeah, um, I, I remember that discussion I was talking about the hit detection. That that's a very good example of that. <laughs> Whatever. We take those. Oh, come on, man. How many more hits you got? Damn you, evil Valcor! Jesus. Only getting down to 30 seconds here. That's kind of rough, isn't it? I'm going to put some time back on the clock here. Boy, can't even... Can't reliably predict when he's coming down. be so bad if there wasn't a timer I could take my time with it a bit. You know, it's been a while since I've watched a few uh, arcade episodes. I'm surprised any of these stages aren't considered scale source. I mean, they could be. Although, on the other hand, this could be just too unfair for anybody. Maybe. Jesus! Hey, Gnosis, how you doing? Welcome to this! Stubborn Dragon Head. He hits, damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna guess all of them. Especially at the rate this fucker's going. That's just. It just won't die. Remember the concept of enemies having life bars? Remember, remember how that ever existed? It just kind of keeps going. I mean, there is just, there's no end to it. Oh, sweet. We were talking about Smite earlier. Someone just gave me a something. Nice. Uh. 
are looking at OBS. Okay, this is happening again, Jesus. It's like, no, 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 we're just going to kill ten seconds of your time here, or, or more. It's like, damn, this random knight's kicking my ass, how can I beat him? Oh, I know, I'll waste time. Aha! That'll show him! That certainly is showing me. Yes, a, a meat grinder is the correct term for this game. That is for sure. It's a hellscape. just pummeling him with hits. <laughs> Jesus! How much time do I need to have in order to freaking kill this thing? Because holy crap. We just have... We're just spending so much time on this thing trying to kill it. And it won't come down. Where does it even start us? All the way back? Yep. Absolutely not. I wish I could say something else, but what else is there to say except welcome to the world of ghosts and goblins? This is absolutely the worst. This is literally a game that will kick you in the balls, not remove the foot, stab you, Try and twist the knife to expand the wound, and then, uh, just for added sense and giggles, um, dig a whole canister of salt and pour on top of that wound. Uh huh. I don't think there's any way I can do this at this point. sense of the word. I just, I don't think I can beat uh, this thing. Now, now I'm curious about something, because I, I just have to know. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, 
All right. I think I've seen enough. Because, yeah, that's... Oh. Well, we reached a level 3 boss, thanks to copious rewinds. Thanks. Duh. Sure is a game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's switch it up and be a little... something a little bit less obnoxious. One hopes. I don't know how this is medieval, but, um... Because you got Bob, Viva Golf, Circus, Bob, what we're mainly talking about is the RPG mode. Aha! Ball of Pin. Yeah, you want to talk about, uh, what the F? Uh, look no further than a pinball RPG. Yeah, I've, uh, I've seen some things in my time. This is certainly one of them. Damn fuck shit. Bet your ass I want to try again. Um, that's because, um, this is a multi-layer, uh, pinball thingamadoodle, but, um, in order to advance forward, you have to bust open the gate. I believe the best way to do that um, is to destroy the tombstones. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. Wait. Wait, why does the ghost need to save the princess? I'm confused. Yes. Touché. But then you took an arrow in the knee? No. Uh-huh. Oh, hey. Ooh. So now Look. you move the flippers up, and that's how you continue from there. I see. So I have to know that. Which I do now. Whoops. Uh, as far as I can tell, um, it's one of those weird games where... I think you only have one ball, but you have, um, infinite tries. If that makes any sense. That's good, because apparently I'm gonna need them. Legend says there's a very hot babe at the top. Apparently. Brick! No tilt controls. Not as far as I could tell, at least. Or if there is, I sure don't remember it. enjoyed pinball games. I've never really been terribly good at them. Uh, it's the B button, apparently. Uh. Again, it has been a while since I've played this game. Yeah. I mean, it's also entirely on, uh, on point for an NES game to not have tilt controls. Also, I can't help but notice, I don't seem to get a score. Um, it will be explained, uh, once you get past this first level. 
if I get past this first level. Let's be realistic. I can't stay up high enough for long enough. Oh. What is this? King of York, the Skeleton King? Oh, Omega, I think your uh, suggestion is uh, for your bingo win is probably not going to be possible. So, uh, yeah, hit the backup one. Because I do not have that on my Steam, and I'm not aware. Uh, Are you talking about Omega's request? Yes. Ah. Uh, it would make sense that... It's kind of hard to show it off if you don't have the game for it. Yeah, it's like, I well, appreciate the effort, but yeah. To buy it. But I think uh, Omega said if you couldn't do that, he did have some backup choices. But yeah, uh, based on how you've been attacking will determine how much gold you have, hence how you can purchase them. Uh huh. Interesting. Steel? <laughs> oh wait, that was a stopper. Eh, we don't have any money for that. I just got beat up. I'm gonna assume that was a failure. I'd say that's probably a safe assumption. What do we got here? A wizard? Yeah! Yeah! Brick. Oh, yes, if you go back a level, um, it does kick you back to level one. Oh, well, let's uh, rewind that then. Oh, uh, yes. I don't know space time rewind can't fix. Exactly. Pressing up instead of uh, left, which is how that happened. Oh, buttocks. Well, that's no good. The same. I could have made a topical by making a Sonic says that's no good joke. But then again, uh, last I checked, I don't think uh, Sonic and the Black Knight was an option there. Eh. No, probably not. Uh, spoiler alert: No, it's not an option. Fiddle battle. Wow, I just they seem to have and set that into a bounce that I physics where no matter how hard you try, they still don't work. Yeah. Uh -huh. and point. Yeah.
get wrecked. It just will not catch on to that. Okay, there's something different. What? Okay. What is that? I want to know what that is. I want to know. Not as much as I'd like to do what I'm doing here. Hmm. Game, you are wrong. Jesus. Game is utterly wrong. So what the hell have I done? Oh, okay. Sure? Uh, 7,800. really do me much. We'll steal again. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, wait a second. I noticed you lost some money, I believe. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's not steal from the odd-looking creature here. That's actually good. And now it's bad. Now it's good. Oh, what is we this? Take this pinball with us, but beware, for it carries a curse. Oh, that's bad. But it comes with a free Frogert. That's, that's good. good. The Frogert is also cursed. That's oh, bad. That's bad. But you get your free choice of toppings. That's good. That's good. The toppings contain potassium benzoid. That's bad. Can I go now? Ah, the first row is dead. Uh, things are happening. How many levels is this? It's not that long of a game. So, I think after this one, there's one more level. Really? We could beat this, huh? In theory. The last pinball game I think I beat at all was Kirby's Pinball Land. Which, to be fair, that's not a bad game to clear. If it's anything, it's a very one. fun game. And it's Kirby. Well, there you go. One of these days, we will get to a thousand followers around here, and we'll have a Kirby night. But that one's probably a little ways off yet. Now, first things first. 666 and the Doom Sunlust Wad. 
the notoriously difficult, including a level that is called Go Fuck Yourself. So. <laughs> 17,000, huh? I still don't have enough for a flipper, yes? Nope. Sure don't. Center stopper. And a floor stopper. We won't bother to try to steal, because if we are going to the final level, that's great. Oh, this sure is brick. I couldn't figure out what's going on there. Myself. Let me just double check that, make sure that is indeed the case, because I think there might be more. That's just all right there. Ah, five levels. So this is actually the penultimate level. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I'm just waiting for... I'm the ball just waiting for a boat. Oh, fuck's sake. In the no, interest just, of Just happily this. bouncing while waiting for a boat ride. May you bounce in peace. Get off my plane. Come Jesus. on, Knight, you were practically touching that! Oh. I reckon it's the, uh... The... what you call it? It's the Golden Army from Hellboy. Ah, uh, yeah. seems different. Because it is different. Maybe run that back a skosh. If it's in a barrel, it doesn't last at all. But if it's a boat, it does. If we ride on the barrel, we get ejected. If we ride on the boat, we're fine. Nope, oh, made it. Nailed it! Aspect nailed it, even. Indeed. I think the barrel has gone away for the time being, so that's good. bad. It's a, definitely a pinball game, as pinball games go. It'll take a while, especially if you don't grind for other stuff. But other than that, not a bad game. I would wonder how one would even grind. These, uh, these tables are small and uh, compact. Not a lot of um, evident areas to uh, rack up points. And... Uh, well, 
at this point, you can't even tell what your points are. <laughs> Everything on my screen says zero. Onward. Alrighty then. Let's find out what kind of money we've got. When it all goes well, should be final level. I just started pressing wrong things. I like how it doesn't like give you a, a, a warning or anything when it drops you into there. And don't call me on this. Uh, a banshee scream. Uh, I think if you were to. Press pause, that should, uh, give you access to the main, uh, inventory menu, with a combination of select as well? Aha! There we go. Oh, whoops. Hey, it's the princess. I assume. Or is that the banshee? I don't know. I see. For all we know, that could be blind. That's true. that up. Damn. That's, uh, that's touchy. I almost feel like maybe I'm better off just, uh, doing what I was doing before. Because the way it loops around, this, it, it doesn't just drop them and pull them up anymore. Yeah. It does that. Yeah. Whoops. Send a bumper took care of it. That's all that matters. Yes. This is another case of I'd like to know how many hits she takes. 
You know what's the one thing I realized while looking back on the footage? Is that the AD represents how much attack power you have, and I think because you're using the weakest flippers, uh, obviously that attack power got drained down by one. But above that is what I'm assuming is... I honestly don't know what to call it. I'm just going to call it a Mickey Mouse face with a number <laughs> representing the boss's hit points. Oh, maybe. I'd like to have an opportunity to prove that. Uh, yeah, you've got something there. What happened? I think it's because you're using the weak flippers that you just got pushed back. You mean I can't beat her? You can, you just have to prevent her from, um touching your flippers, because I think you had a massive amount of attack power, but every time they hit your weak flippers, it drains that attack power. I see. Alright, good enough. Eleven more damage. It's kind of funny because I want to say we should probably move on to another game, but at the same time, this technically is the final boss, so may as right. well see it through to the end. And that somehow counted as her touching the flippers. Yeah, strangely enough. Whatever. What? Oh, come on. That not count as hitting her. That did count as hitting her, but then she touched. No, the no, no. I mean the aftermath hitting it. Not just the damage, but hitting it transformed back into the demon. Ah. Oh, no. come on. That counts. Hmm. Alright. Problem I keep running into is I'm hitting it... That's... boy. No, no, this game is not broken. Game is just dumb. No. I would say it's just pinball mechanics. I don't think even pinball has physics like this. Right. Nope, that's gonna be death. There we go. That worked. Oh, come on.
Ooh, thank Ooh, God. Oh, oh, I was about to say, that should have counted. Now, she just gets to that point, and that's that. Listen, I love the fact she's not even touching the flippers when they're not on the same level, but that still counts as her touching the flippers. Yep. I just can't not have that happen there. There is just nothing that I can apparently do to prevent that. Oh, there we go. How can you... Ah! Yes! Still good here. Three more. That's a problem. Yep, Pinball Physics is indeed Harsh Mistress. Okay. Two more. One more. Hit. Did it. Yeah, game set man. Boom. What are we doing now? Is it possibly getting on that throne? Oh! We're moving it to reveal the secret passage. Ha ah, ha ha. Cute! Uh huh. Don't have enough. The. Here's uh, to be another level. True? Final? Wait, I thought you... Now I'm... Now I'm confused. Me too. Because according to the guy, that should have been it. Um, bro, you know, this is super special boss fight. Yeah. There's final stage and then there's extra stage. This is confusing. I thought we had a GG here. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. True final boss. Especially since, based on what we see up there, it's he's holding the princess. real princess captive. Indeed. All right. Well, we just got to get back up there. I haven't just been able to hit once. I'm curious if it has to do anything with the candles at the bottom. Potentially. I think it has been a while, so don't quote me on that.
Whoa, whoa, what is happening? What is happening? Who knows? Yes. Uh, bumper sounded like mice squeaking. That's all I could gather out of it. Yeah. It just doesn't want me to do anything. It just keeps trying to keep me back to the Banshee fight. Apparently targets are just, like, impossible. I can only hit bumpers. Interestingly, I lose attack power in some instances. Yeah, that's probably why they want you to invest in the stronger flipper, so that way it'll prevent them from stealing either that much damage or at all. I keep trying to press up when I'm trying to move my flippers down. Okay, through the flipper, sure. Uh, we were doing okay there. Uh. Yeah, why isn't this Kirby's Pinball Land? I know, right? Because worst case scenario, you could inhale and blow back at the enemies, or worst case scenario, if they're like those... Um, shit, now I'm gonna sound like a complete... Uh, that doesn't even remember Kirby enemies. Fuck. Uh, Scarfies? Scarfies, I believe? Yes. yes. Uh, where you can inhale them, but you just uh, take in air and just puff it out back at them to kill them. Yeah, something like that. Oh, God. Back in the day, I used to have the Metroid pinball game. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't think we've played that on this yet. I think a memory serves. It's a... 
if not 3DS, um, Nintendo DS uh, game. Well, DS we can do. 3DS we can't. Oh yeah, you should be able to... Oh! Full power. Whatever. If it makes it that much easier to kill, go for it! Logic, eh, Mel? Neat. We are so there. Ooh, I could go for some Turbo Graphics 16 Double Crash right about now. Now it would be better than this, God knows. It really would. starting to understand something about the mechanics of this. Hey, all the candles are out. Hey. I don't know if that's good or not. Also, it was kind of gray before, now it's deafening gray. Oh, yes. That's hey, it. now it should be GD. Yeah, we never had a Turbo Graphics or a Genesis for that matter. Just the SNES. A magnet? No, well, we broke the magnet. Okay, no, that looks like an ending to me. Alright, rip evil magnet. That's a victory! Officially! Hey. Mark that down on the old list. Now, we've got a few other selections. I can't imagine there'll be a uh, anything additional at the end of this. Nor do I imagine these are very long credits. Anyway... Hi. 
so. 1990 Jalico. Wow. There we go. Alright, let's slap that intermission wall up there. Move on to our next selection. Oh, what else did you get? Based on what I'm seeing, they're, the rest of them are bad. I mean, none of them have been particularly good, so there is that. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, wait! No, no! I changed my mind. This is a good one. Rampart. Something about this might ring a bell to me, and I'm not sure what. Prepare for battle! What was that about? Balls? Alright. Options. Game difficulty. We're gonna do easy, cause why not? Eh, why not? Player one type, speed normal. Okay, whatever. Oh, I believe it's talking about um, A is place, uh, B is rotate, and I don't remember what T is, but yeah. Uh huh. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, you choose a base. Laser cannons in the open area. Within your castle. Oh. And you do have a time limit, so... <laughs> not saying to say it. Then shoot the ships, uh, trying to attack your castle. Yeah, something about this rings a bell. Uh, Rampart existed on other systems. Then use your Tetra skills to rebuild your castle. As you do. And as far as I'm aware, it technically is a game over if you can't uh, surround your castle completely. Sometimes you're given bullshit pieces and you have to use it as a throwaway. Uh, you nice could have done it right there. Well, nice amount of points, but and I think um, if you can't fill it completely, the game just gives it to you. But yeah, I think that upper right is the only place you can put it. In. I've barely hit anything. But yeah, so I, I definitely feel like I have played a game like this before. Yeah, honestly, my first exposure to this was the Midway uh, Arcade Classics for the PS2. Hmm. And my god, it was worth it. Because, mmm, such a fun and addictive game. Nailed it. Completed a base. Yeah, there's there's something familiar about this. I cannot quite place what about it. Hmm. 
with more firepower. Yes, six, six, six. That is indeed our next follower goal. Definitely going to have to have Psych on for some lust. I would suggest uh, making sure you have your main base set up because even if you do uh, rebuild Oops. a base um, down below, uh, you'll lose access to the cannons otherwise. And uh, you don't want that to happen. Right. Oh, I fucked it. Yeah, there was one spot. This is a real time when uh, Tetris players would easily master the castle rebuilding portion of this. I believe it. Technically got a second castle, not bad. Yeah, we'll take it. Look at all that territory. Oops. Oh well. Too late. Who knows if you're lucky, they might destroy the inner wall, so that way you can have one huge base with two forts. Oh, I'd be alright with that. I sunk a bunch of ships that time, so that's fun. Success. Successful fort in stereo sound effect, even. Yeah. Hey, and the game was even kind enough to remove a part of that wall, so poor cannon placement. Fire. Ew, that's not looking good at all. I'm going to say it might be possible to rebuild it, but it's not going to be easy. Definitely something I remember about this. And I just... 
Maybe this is one of those games that had a uh, that was that's old enough that it uh, was ported on like like my Mac 2. Hey, Pan. Yo, Pan. Welcome in. What's Thank up? you so much for the raid. We're currently playing Rampart. It's what the f? Yes, Fortress Tetris. That's exactly right. Also, Indeed. fire. I, uh... Oh, it's an annoying part. But, oh, if you have a two, you can cover that over there. I had a two. Uh, I meant to rotate it so it goes oh, around. I see that, what you're Other button. There we go. Oh. Victory. Such as it is. Not the best of positions, but you still get the fortress, so we'll take it. Good. Yep, and we just finished a uh, pinball quest. Welcome in, though, Raiders. If this is your first time here, help us stick around and drop a follow. We just passed our 608, which is a thing that is significant around here because battle toads. And with those feeling goal, otherwise, the counter argument, battle toads. battle toads. And our next goal is 666, in which we will play Notorious Doomwad's Sunlust. not even see a placement there, but yeah, that works. Nailed it. Nice noses. Yep, we are, uh, it, it's, it's hype time. Oh yeah, those tanks are easily the worst, since I don't think they do any damage to your walls, but they present a whole different problem when you're trying to rebuild your fortress and they're covering up the one place you need to cover just to say mm -hmm. no, fuck you in the end. Hmm. Whoop, 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 whoop. Like fuck. what they're doing right now. Motherfucker. Damn butt fuck shit. Rip and tear. We died. Uh. We were a mere ninth. Military masters of puppets. Oh, and I forgot it doesn't show it here. Um, I know in the arcade version, uh, if you get a game over, it shows you uh, about to be beheaded via guillotine. Oh, damn, I'd be all about seeing that. Let me see if I can find a clip of that. I know I can. All right, rock on. Uh, let's see. All right, now we're taking this one. It's the one we haven't tried yet. I set them on fire! SNES edition has a different ending, Eagle says. Interesting.
Ooh, second area picked. Territory. Must kill them all. pretty decently. And then it didn't. This is the wrong music for this. That's the right music. Okay, I am so disappointed in YouTube right now. They have plenty of videos about the gameplay and everything, but not the actual thing about... Well, whatever. I found something for the Atari version of it, but... <laughs> pretty much shows. Now, this being an arcade game, that might be what I'm thinking of. be one of those games that was at Frankenmuth when I would uh, go up there and, and spend the night over President's Day weekend like we always used to like we okay not always but frequently used to do good memories that was also the only place where I ever played uh Rampage. Ooh, that's a good place. It's a classic. I have played Rampage World Tour as well, which, boy, that mm. sure is a game. World Tour is my jam. It starts to get kind of gross, image-wise, towards the end. Ooh. But I appreciate what they were doing, and I had fun with it regardless. Hey, oh, victory! Hey, you can win. Oh, we've got multiple locations. A small island nation of fuck you, a stan. <laughs> I have set a lot of boats on fire, but it didn't do me a lick of frickin' good. Oh, boy. So, yeah, obviously, the only main difference the later stages have is that it's far more stingier when it comes to getting the pieces you really want. Yeah. Let's see. Success. I'm sure some people are wondering in the chat, why didn't you post the link? You said you were going to post the link. That's the catch. I did post it on the Discord. Ah ha ha. There's your encouragement to get to the Discord, folks. So, you know, don't want to encourage anything, but there is a Discord link people could join. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Exclamation Discord, wink, wink, say no more. If you're not there, you should be. We do races, sometimes. We're currently working on the logistics for one such thing. <laughs> Just also, barely. hashtag nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> fist score. 
At first I thought you spelled it wrong, but then I realized, no, that was intentional. Uh huh. RTS with Tetris. Oh boy. Oh uh, boy, I think we're fucked. Nope, we are indeed fucked. But we get the opportunity to continue with more firepower! I believe a few words come to mind in that sort of situation. Uh, in the old English, I believe it was called Damn Fuck and or Ye Shit. Oh, yes. Quite. Hey, I sunk your ship. It. Nice. But why? Why are there always so many? There's a lot of potential for aggressive expansion. As far as playing this game legitimately, the farthest I've gotten was the third stage, and by then, oh yeah. If the second stage stopped holding your hand, um, stage three kicks you in the mud. And the nuts, I imagine. No, I think that, uh, just the mud. Stage four would definitely kick you in the nuts. You ever fall down in the mud? On a burning fire pit. With an iron boot? No, of course you haven't. Nobody has. Yeah, skip that one. Stupid question. Oh. Almost well, cannons. I wonder if those cannons are usable. No, they are not. Well, guess we're fucked. Fucking tank, Batman. Uh huh. Ooh, that stick nailed it. Just barely. Have it. Well, but yeah, at this point, I think it's safe to say <laughs> probably not going to happen. Probably not. Let's see. 
Let's try this one. Damn it, I did it again. Did miss. Oh, I almost sunk them all. Not that I'm clear on what that would what would happen if we did sink them all, but yeah. it's been a while, but I would like to say if it happened early on, you could potentially quick win this. It has been a while, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, it might that might be the case, and I was thinking that it could have been. Could have gone better. The fires. No. Huzzah. Territory is kind of nice. Yeah. Let him have it. Well, we walloped him pretty good. Those tanks hovering over there, though. Uh huh. We're pretty fucked. So close. Rip and pepperoni. Yep, pretty much. All right. I think we'll call that one there. And uh, let's get one more out. Yeah, because I was going to say, I do work in the morning. So it's probably yeah, I do as well, but I don't, not in the morning. Or the well, afternoon. It's my last like afternoon shift. Oh, of course. We've heard of ending with a bang. It's time we end on a wet fart. Oh, boy. Oh, what the hell? It's a shmup? Yes. A terrible shmup, especially if you want to get the best ending. Uh. <laughs> you want to know what's the sad thing about this game? Despite it being its own thing, according to the lore, this is technically canonical to the Final Fantasy 15 story. The... what? Yeah. I honestly wish I was making that up. Final Fantasy 15. A game that won't come out for more than 30 years after this game is released. And somehow it's canonical to that. I don't know what any of this is doing. Whoops. Um, I know the, um... 
arrows going up are health up. Uh, arrows going down, health down. The boots, I want to say, uh, faster movement. Well, at least it's not a one-hit shot. Witches! Burn the witch! Burn! Damn fuck shit. Who ever heard of a shmup like this? I wonder where this level ends. In fact, if memory serves, uh, yeah, there are even blockades that just block your path. Also, uh, the water fucking sucks. I believe you. Oh, Omega, you're gonna be sorry you asked this question. This is. King's Knight for the NES. The game that somehow is relevant to the plot in the story lore of uh, Final Fantasy 15. Also, random Pokeball for no fucking reason. I thought maybe that that was going to be a freaking uh, clear area clear screen wipe. Because, number one, medieval, what the F theme, and number two, it's what the F. Why wouldn't I put this on there? So far, I'm seeing the only option is to rewind and hug the right side of the wall. Gross. Yes, very gross. This is despicable. No. No, the same devs as NES Ghostbusters. Jesus Christ, that explains a few things, doesn't it? <laughs> that it sure does. You shit biscuit. No. Game is mean. Nope, trapped. So what is this like? Is this randomly generated or something? I don't get it. Nah, I think it's supposed to be a set path you have to take. Hmm. So I believe once you go up there, you have to hug the right side. Based on what I'm seeing. Which God knows I'm trying to do. Of course, I could make the argument, why don't you play it better? But then again, it's this game. How the fuck could you play it better? <laughs> Even if you were trying your damnedest. Yes. Hey. Oh boy, it, is that a current? Mike? Oh, it is a current! Despicable. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a reason why when Armag21 reviewed this game, he not only said he hated the water, but hated it so much he just called it the Death Sea. Okay. It would be a concept. Help ups. There's one. Success? You would agree, yes. But again, um, at this point, I don't think it even matters. Because not only do you have to get to the final stage with all four characters alive, uh -huh. which just makes your hitbox that much worse, but you also have to defeat special secret bosses in each of these character stages. Oh, I'm gonna guess that I did not do that in stage one. No, you didn't. Because where would... Where would such a thing have even been? Wow, I, I didn't Mile and error is the only answer I can give you. I didn't bother playing this piece of shit. I definitely see some design similarities to FF1 here with those street layouts and shit. Dead. The wizard is dead. We got here a dragon. Yep. I'll well, we'll see what his death screen looks like, because he's gonna die. I'm a dragon, I'm supposed to be a badass, why? You know what this is reminding me of? The Uncanny X-Men. <laughs> Rip. Oh, monster. Whatever. Lots of questions about this motherfucker. Medieval shmup, though. I, I would not have believed it if I hadn't seen it. Well, it's one thing if you haven't seen it before, just to believe it. You're playing it. I am. I have thoughts and regrets. Octorox, huh? With spread guns. And dead. Kid Thief Toby, huh? Help the princess, I'm the only one left. I seem to have found the final level, huh? Yeah. And we can't possibly get a good ending here one way or the other. We're dead. Yay! <laughs> oh my god! What an ending! <laughs> oh god. Well, you yeah, know I what? Have no the... idea. I have no idea why you play this game. I personally like to play really good games. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking Final uh, Friday the Thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street. Thank you very much. I I also like playing Jaws. Ironically, I mean we played uh we played uh Nightmare on Elm Street on the stream um in an early what the F and did it surprisingly well actually. 
And, but again, uh, you gotta get that parsec working so you can do four player Nightmare on Elm Street. That's where the real oh, fun I... is. <laughs> uh, sometime in the past, I actually did beat Jaws. Not on stream, but it has been done. Oh, look at that. You can pick them. Huh. It's like a continue feature. How about that? Well, that being said, I think this is a good spot to wrap this sucker up for the night. Indeed. So here it is, as always, your moment of zen, because I need to be able... I have to put that up there because I need to be able to uh, bring up my browser to find out who's on so who we can send you over to. But uh, tomorrow we're back with uh, Amogus. And um, Friday we start Dark Souls. So that's my first Souls game. So you don't want to be here for that. Let's see here. Let's find somebody. I got somebody I have not raided before. I think would be a, a good choice. Just get that to come up there. There we go. And, uh, yeah, next week, uh, as long as Psych is feeling better, we will be going with the end of Painkiller. And Eisen will be on the clock again in two weeks. Having fingers crossed that Psych has a speedy recovery. Yeah, just in general. Not just for the sake of the stream, but because we love Psych and we want him to feel better. Amen. So we're going to raid a uh, Mirage Omega. And our uh, raid message, well, just simply medieval times. That is, God knows that is what this is. <laughs> All right, so y'all have a great rest of your night, Eisen. Thank you so much for the uh, shenanigans. Thanks for coming. Uh, don't mention it. And, uh, yeah, t uh, tomorrow, 9.30 for Mogus. 8 o'clock Friday for Dark Souls. And then uh, starting next week, we will have full-on changes in our um, in our scheduling. Probably going to be basically everything starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I'll let you all know in the Discord, of course. So have a good one, and we will see you tomorrow night. Later. Bye. When you eat enough tacos, this kind of stuff happens, all right?